Hey, this is Russell Graves, and springtime is one of my favorite times in the year. And the reason why is we get to garden. And this year, I'm setting up my garden already, and I'm using hay bale gardening. Never heard of it before? You're gonna wanna check this video out. Hay bale gardening is a super simple way to garden. It doesn't require any kind of tillage tools like a tiller, and it doesn't even require a rake or a hoe. But to get started, all you need are some straw bales. I've got eight straw bales in this configuration. Some kind of fertilizer. I prefer organic fertilizer, so I've got this chicken manure fertilizer that I'm gonna use. And then after that, you just need water. You can use water out of a tap, or if you collect rainfall, that's really probably the best because uh, you want warm water to start this off with because the first step is you wanna get these bales to condition or start cooking. The key thing is use straw bales and not grass hay. Grass hay is cut when there's seeds on the head and so it'll contain seeds. And as you water these bales, the grass will start to grow out of the bales. On straw bales, this is wheat straw that I'm using. And on straw bales, the seeds already been combined from the crop and then the standing straw that's left is what gets belled up. So you may have a few seeds in here, but really not too many at all. Cooking or conditioning these bells means once you start watering them and fertilizing them, the microbial action begins to take place inside the bell. And the bells will actually heat up a little bit, but the microbial action starts to take place inside the bell and it starts to decompose the bells from the inside out. So essentially we're making compost that we're gonna be growing our garden in this season. So the first real step is we've gotta condition these bells and it's gonna be about a two week process for us to accomplish that. Every day we're gonna water the bells and that way the bells stay moist and that decomposition pro process continues to take place inside. But here's what's real important. On days one, three, and five, we're gonna add three cups of organic fertilizer to each bell and then we're gonna water that fertilizer in. We're gonna continue to water on days two, four, and six. But then on day seven, eight, and nine, we're gonna add a cup and a half of fertilizer per bale and then water it in. And then day 10, we're gonna add three cups of fertilizer one more time to each bale, along with a little potassium and phosphorus to the bales to help with the, with the process. And then after that, for the next five or six days, we're gonna leave it alone. What's gonna be amazing, you're probably gonna start seeing a, a little bit of fungal growth on the side in the form of mushrooms. That's perfectly natural. And But as these bales cook, if you put your hand in them, you can actually feel them starting to heat up. And I've heard anywhere from about 10 to 40 degrees above the ambient air temperature is what the inside of these bales will get, but that's perfect. And the reason why, again, that decomposition process is starting and it's making that good food inside the bell that your, that your garden plants will tap into and be able to sustain themselves throughout the growth of the whole gardening season. One of the cool things about hay bale gardening is once the season's over and you've harvested all your vegetables, all you have to do then is just remove the wire or the string from these bells, spread the, spread the compost of bells out over the yard, and then they help feed that area of your yard for the next year. Thank you.